it is about 10 days away from the first day of summer. I'm still working on cleaning out my freezers from like old produce, old fruit and stuff like that and trying to use it up and make room in the freezer because before long we're going to be putting new stuff in the freezer from this year's garden. I do have a box fan running in my house so if you can hear it in the background that's what that is. It is really hot here today. We don't have AC in our house so we just open our windows and put fans in them. But today I'm going to be dehydrating habaneros and then turning them into a powder to use as like a seasoning in whatever you want to use it in. So I'm not looking forward to turning my dehydrators on. It's probably going to raise the temperature in my kitchen quite a bit. But I really need to get my freezer cleaned out so I just don't have a choice today. So I pulled these bags of habaneros out of my freezer. Some are green. I am going to just do them all. Those, I have these two bags from 2023, so last fall. And then I found a bag from 2019. So I don't know how that happened. They look a little yuck, so we'll see if I'm even gonna use those ones. And then even pulling all of these out, I still have another whole big bag like this in my freezer. So that way we can use it or whatever just have them in there who knows might not have a good habanero harvest this year so it's always nice to keep a little bit for a backup just in case but I'm gonna be cutting these in half and then putting them on the dehydrator I have made them before but it's been I think two years since I've dehydrated any of my habaneros we don't use the powder that much because it is hot but it is nice to preserve peppers like this because then they're shelf stable and they don't need to take up room in your freezer and then you can still use them as a seasoning for other things. So I do recommend wearing gloves for this project. These have lots of oils in them that will like, won't like physically cause a burn on your skin, but it'll burn your skin. Your hands will feel like they're on fire. And if you touch your eyes, nose, mouth, or anything like that, they will burn and they will burn for a long time and it's not fun. So I'm just going to cut the tops off, cut them in half. I am going to leave the seeds in them. I think usually I pull them out, but they'll grind up in the, in the herb grinder. So there's no reason to make that extra work. It just might take longer to dehydrate with them, with the seeds in there. And then I'm just going to lay them all out on my dehydrator just like that and see how many I can get on here. So any of them, let me cut this in half. Any of them that the seeds are discolored, I have noticed that they don't taste good. They have an off taste. So I'm not even gonna use those. Those are just gonna be discarded. So all of my extra habaneros that I'm not using, like the ones that the seeds are discolored or the tops, we're gonna put in the compost. It's definitely not something we wanna feed our pigs. I don't think they will be very happy if they found these in their food. And I've heard chickens don't have any taste buds and can eat whatever, but I don't want to make anybody sick or not feel good or anything like that. So I'm just going to put this all in our compost. It's still not wasting it because it'll break down and we'll use it to feed our garden later on. It might be weird to some, but I really love the smell of habaneros. It is kind of a little nose tingly, but... For some reason I really enjoy it even when I'm cooking with the habaneros um, I make some habanero jams sometimes and even if it's cooking and the habanero fumes are filling the house for some reason I just really like it that splashing noise in the background is my dog out here taking a drink it is really hot out here 
We've been trying to keep everybody nice and hydrated with nice, fresh, cold water throughout the day. Making sure everybody stays as comfortable as possible in this heat. But this tray is done. And now I'm just going to do this exact same process on all of my other trays until my dehydrator is full. My habaneros didn't even fill my other dehydrator. So on my second dehydrator, my round one, I had two bags of jalapenos in my freezer. These were quart size bags, so not as big as the habaneros. But I'm gonna do the same thing and get these dehydrating and make more room in my freezer. So same thing, I'm just gonna cut them, cut the tops off, cut them in half, and I'm going to leave Actually, I think I'm going to cut them in half this way too. So when I go to put them in my herb grinder, they are smaller and easier to work with. But, so I'm just gonna cut the tops off, cut them in half, and then cut them in half again. And then any that have weird seeds are just going to be tossed in the compost. I don't want it to alter the flavor of the entire batch. If the seeds are reddish colored, that's fine. That just means they're like hotter. But if they're brown or darker, you're gonna wanna get rid of them. So this is what a tray is going to look like. And I'm just gonna continue doing this until I have all of my jalapenos on the dehydrator. So they are on the dehydrator. I haven't turned it on yet. That's what they look like. I didn't have that many jalapenos. I didn't have that many jalapenos, so not as many of them on the on the dehydrator. But I'm gonna turn these on and I will pick up with this video tomorrow. So this is what the habaneros look like dried out. They took 14 hours well I don't think they took 14 hours I think they might have been done sooner than that but it was 14 hours from the time I put them on there in the evening and then from the time that I woke up and turned them off I'm just gonna put them in my little this is a coffee grinder but I use it for herbs and peppers and things like that So that's what it looks like. You can do it less if you want less of a powder, but I really wanted my scenes ground up really well too. And then I just put it in a jar that I'm not gonna can in. It might have like a, a ding in it or it might not be a, a canning jar. This one is a canning jar. It has a label on it. I think it had jam or something in it. I'm not really sure. But that's how I'm going to store this. And then I'm going to do all of these. Ooh, spicy. So my first tray was all the way dry. But then I got to the next tray. And I'm finding ones that aren't dry. So I'm just going to put them back on... There are some on here that are dry. I thought about picking through them. Um, but I think I'm just going to put them all back on. And then I didn't film it, but while I was doing uh, these habaneros in this, it was really spicy. I sneezed like five times. My nose is running. I definitely think it's because it's airborne. It's kicking it up into the air more. I did turn my oven hood vent on to try to help with that. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this or if you do this, that during the grinding process, it, it is getting a little, a little intense. I'm still going to keep doing it. I'm not going to stop. 
but I am going to put these back on the dehydrator for longer because they're just not ready yet. So this is what the jalapenos look like. I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to put them in my grinder. I did do a full wash on my grinder in between peppers so that way they weren't mixed. And then I let it dry so the powder wouldn't get wet. The stuff is strong. So this is what the jalapeno look like. I feel like I'm going to sneeze again. And then I'm just going to keep doing that until all of these are done. Alright, so this is what my finished product looks like. These are going to be great additions to our seasoning shelf. And all of those peppers fit in this little space versus taking up all the space they were taking in my freezer. Like I said, these are very hot. Um, you definitely want to use these with caution and you want to make them with caution also. So I'm just going to put lids on these. I'm going to label them. I'm probably just going to stick a sticker over this saying what it is. This is an old lid. I still have to get a lid and a ring for this one and they're just going to go on my shelf and that's going to be it.